bronzy nudish makeup look yeah so I really wanted to um, create a look using this palette by pixie I've been seeing a lot of YouTube videos using um, the pixie products and I really didn't know where to get my pixie products until I just happened to go to my local drugstore and I happened to see the whole line of pixie product and I decided to pick up this and the lip liner so I just wanted to do a makeup look using this makeup palette for you guys this makeup palette is not not really too versatile you can just create like basic looks with this um, this is just like a basic makeup palette for beginners I would say it is a beautiful palette but you can't really create too much looks with this palette if you're a beginner to makeup I would recommend this palette because it's very subtle and it's not too out of the box so you can't really create like crazy makeup looks with this palette if you know what I'm trying to say I don't even know what I'm trying to say but anyways I know what I'm trying to say but I just can't get it out Okay guys, so if you want to see how I created this uh, makeup look, then keep watching. So first off, I'm going to apply some of this Urban Decay Quick Fix Prep Priming Spray. And I'm just going to spray some onto my face. I'm just going to let this dry. Okay, so moving on, I'm applying some of the Urban Decay D-Slick Complexion Primer. And this one is the Mattifying Primer. So I'm just going to apply a little bit, one pump maybe. Next, I'm going to apply some of this Too Faced Lip Injection Ultimate Lip Plumper. I'm just going to apply a little bit so I can, you know, get a nice pout, hopefully, at the end. So next, I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. And here, I'm just using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. And this is in the shade number 5. I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows like normal. Next, I'm gonna go in with some of this Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer, and the shade I'm using is 3.75. I'm just going to use this concealer just to clean up the eyebrows a little bit. Look how red my lips are getting. So for, so for my eye primer, I'm going to use this MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I'm just going to use this as my eyeshadow base. And the brush I'm using here is the Sigma Rung Precision P82. I'm just using this to blend the primer out. Okay, next I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever eyeshadow in M650. And it's this shade here. I'm just going to use this shade to use as my all-over transition color. And I'm basically applying this all over the entire eyelids so that the other eyeshadows can blend in smoothly. I'm also taking this up well past the crease as well. Okay, so now that we have a nice wash of color over the eyelid, this basically neutralizes the eyelid. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow palette and it's by Pixi. I'm basically gonna go in with this shade here and I'm gonna go in and apply this to the crease area and for that I'm using a MAC 217 brush. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this color and apply apply to the outer area. I'm going to apply this to the crease as well and it's not really going on too bronzy but I want it nice and bronzy. Can you see anything there? I don't know. So I'm going to have to deepen this up a little bit more because I'm not getting the bronziness. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with the fourth color because I need the outer edge to be a little bit more dramatic and deepen up the crease a little bit. And here I'm just going to go in with my Sigma E25, the blending brush. I'm just going to go in and apply this to the outer area just to darken it up a little bit more, just like that. And in my opinion, the colors from this palette is not very pigmented because I'm struggling to pick up the color and, you know, like it's not showing up on my skin tone and this eyeshadow has so much fallout I mean look look at the fallout on my cheek area good thing I didn't apply my foundation before and next for the eyelids I'm gonna go in with this color right here and this would be the third from the bottom this is like a sort of a champagne-ish color but more on the pinky nude side let's see how well this picks up with the brush and the brush I'm using is in MAC 242 and there is lots of fallout with this eyeshadow as well <gasps> I'm just not loving these eyeshadow shadow but whatever we're gonna work with it 
I'm just gonna go back in with the deeper color and just deepen up the outer crease a little bit more. I'm trying to like pack the color on because I'm not getting much pigmentation from this palette. Next I'm gonna go in with the same darker brown shade and I'm just going to use this to line my lower lash line. Okay, next I'm gonna line my lower lash line with the MAC Eye Pencil in Costa Riche. Next I'm gonna use this, um, what is this? This is the Master Precise Skinny Gel Pencil by, by Maybelline. I'm just gonna use this to tight line. So now that we have the eyeshadow on, I'm gonna go in and start on the face now, and then we'll just come back and finish the eyes. So for my dark circles, I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer, and I'm just gonna go and apply this orange corrector to my dark circles. Just to color correct all my dark spots. I'm just going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. And for foundation, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Illuminating Longwear Foundation. And the shade I'm using here is Sand. So I'm just going to apply some of this to the back of my hand and use my, be my Beauty Blender to apply this to my face. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Concealer and my shade is again in tan. Just gonna go in with my Beauty Blender and blend this up. And for contouring, I'm just gonna use my Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation and this is in the shade Warm Walnut. I'm just gonna use this to contour my nose. A little bit on my forehead, I'm on my cheek, some on my jaw. Yep. Next I'm going to go in and set the under eye area and here I'm just using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender and just tap some of that to my under eye area. So I'm not going to leave this to bake or anything, I'm just going to immediately tap this away. Next I'm just going to go back into the Pixi palette and I'm just going to pick up some of that darker brown shade again, this one, and I'm just going to reapply some eyeshadow under my lower lash line. And of course I'm going to go back in with Coach de Riche again just to apply some more. I think now the look is starting to come together. And next I'm going to go in with my MAC Skin Finish and I'm going to just set the rest of my face. Okay, for bronzer, I'm just gonna go in with my Annabelle B Matte Bronzer and I'm just going to bronze my entire face. I think this is looking a bit too muddy on me, but we'll just make it work. And next for blush, I'm using my NYX Ombre Blush and this is in the shade Nude To Me. And I'm just gonna go in and pick up some of the darker color. Not, I'm not gonna swirl it around, just the darker color will do. 
Okay, so next for highlight, I'm using my LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder, and this is 70 watt. This is popping. I think this is too much highlighter for me. I'm just gonna apply some to the high points of my face and this is like too much highlighter. I'm just gonna tone it down eventually. Some on my nose and my chin. Okay, so I need to just tone this down a bit. So I'm just gonna go in with my same damp beauty blender and just tap this out a little bit. Okay, so I tried to tone down the highlighter a little bit, but I still think this is too much highlighter for me, but whatever. We're just gonna roll with it. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the eyes, and I need to apply some eyeliner, and for that I'm gonna use my Sigma Wicked Gel Liner, and I'm gonna apply some eyeliner now. And next I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper and I'm just going to create my wing and sharpen up the eyeliner. My eyeliner is never symmetrical. It drives me crazy. <gasps> Do you see that? This is so not good. One is like so and the other one is so. Jesus Christ. Okay, so next I'm just gonna go in with my Maybelline Clear Mascara and I'm just going to set my eyebrows in place so that they don't move. Okay, so next I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara. And the mascara I'm using is my Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. This is my favorite at the moment. I'm really loving this. Next, I'm gonna go back into my highlighter and I'm just going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and my eyebrows. Okay, so next I'm gonna pop some eyelashes on and these ones are by Ardell. It's the Demi Wispies in Natural. And the glue that I'm gonna use is by Ardell as well, guys. This is the best glue in my opinion. It goes on clear and it also dries clear as well. This one is a lot easier for me to work with than the Duo. My eyes watering because I think I got a little bit of glue or something in my eyes. But did you see how easy that was? I think I am getting the hang of applying lashes now. Easy. Plus, it's all because of the glue, guys. It is because of the glue. Okay, guys, so my eyelashes are on and I'm loving these Demi Wispy lashes. And now I'm gonna move on to the lips. For that, I'm gonna line my lips with this Lip Contour Liner by Pixie, And it's in the shade Soft Nude. I feel like this nude is not good enough for me. This is doing nothing for me. So I want something a little bit more nude. So I'm just gonna go in with my Urban Decay 24-7 lip pencil in Start Naked and I'm just gonna go over top with this liner. Okay, and for the lips, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Raw Chocolate Matte Lipstick and it looks like this. So this is more of a brownie nude. Okay, 
guys so this is the final look i hope you really did enjoy this bronzy nude look i really wanted to try this palette out since i've seen it at my local drugstore and to me it really looked appealing and i really like these sort of coppery brown nudish eyeshadows at first i felt like i wasn't getting enough pigmentation from the eyeshadows but as i continued with the rest of my makeup and you know the powders and all that stuff i did see the eye look coming together i don't like it but at the same time i don't like it you know what i mean it's a bit hard to work in the beginning maybe as because it was a new palette but overall the look is very beautiful i mean it's nude it's right up my alley so with that said guys i hope you really did enjoy this makeup tutorial and i'll see you guys in my next video bye for now